How's up everyone? Welcome to Ape Escape 1 for the PlayStation 1. A game about catching monkeys to prevent the world from collapsing. Preventing them from causing the apocalypse. Also, happy Easter to everybody who is watching this on the day of release. So this game came out in 1999, bundled with the analog DualShock controller to display what games could be like with extra mobility. Now, with that said, there is a caveat. This game's controls are not perfect. This is the first of its kind. However, because it's the first of its kind, it was really innovative for the time, and a lot of the games after that were modeled around the control scheme that this game implemented. As well as that, really quick, there's a pretty long cutscene about to, about to happen, so we're going to go ahead and dive into it. I don't like to talk during cutscenes too much, but for this first one, I'm not going to talk at all. It sets up the story and the whole nine yards, so we want to make sure that everybody at least gets the information. If you don't care about the cutscene, I'm going to go ahead and put the timestamp in the comment section down below. Go ahead and press that. Spike, did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking, because I'm going first. That's not fair. Hey, wait up. Better hurry up. I'll see you there. Hey, professor. Spike, Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station. <laughs> no. No, man, you do. actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Definitely miss these PlayStation 1 voice acting moments. Spike, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The stun club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with a the time net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. 
Well, now that that's over, welcome back. Capture three monkeys. Okay. So on the middle of the screen there, there's a Spectre coin. Zero out of one. Meaning that we need to get at least one Spectre coin. That's the collectible of this game. And there's four monkeys in this level. However, there's a certain amount of monkeys that you're allocated to catch. And the bottom right, you can see that monkey... There's three monkey heads, meaning that we need to catch three monkeys. So I haven't played this game for a really long time, but I do remember that... Let's get out of here. That Spectre coin is up here. And... Nobody can neglect the bops that this game has. It harbors so many hidden gems in terms of music. Let's get over here. We're also going to be abusing the hitbox of the net quite often, so... You can see right here I'm spinning around. The net, as long as it the hitbox touches the monkey, like right there, we'll be able to catch the monkeys. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, mailbox. Switch the gadgets you're holding using the face button, circle, X, triangle, square. Switch to the time net and catch the monkeys. The time net is swung by tilting or turning the right stick. Thank you. Alright, well let's clean up all these enemies around here. Shoutouts to the world's largest hitbox. <laughs> Gaming's largest hitbox in all of history. Oh, cutest monkey sneezes. So there's a monkey up there we can see. And that monkey is unfortunately unobtainable. The only way to get this monkey is to get a gadget in the later parts of the game and then backtrack back to this level. Which they do celebrate a lot in this series, is backtracking to collect all the monkeys. Of course, you do play the entire game twice. Alright, let's get this last monkey and move on. Man. Maybe not. <laughs> oh my god, American Ninja Warrior? There we go. <laughs> There we go. Yes. yes! Okay. You know, for the first level, only catching three monkeys, that was pretty difficult. I'm not proud of the gameplay there. But we're just getting into the series, so let's see if we can ramp up the stakes. You did great! Oh, thank you, Natalie. <laughs> With the amount of times I'm hitting these mailboxes, I might as well name the mailbox as well. Ah, there it is, the world's largest hitbox again. If that's Natalie, this is Natalia for sure. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on to the next area. Alright, primordial ooze. I like the dinosaur prehistoric. Look what I've got a new gadget. Check it out. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. All right. New gadget, that's really exciting. To finish off my previous thought, I like the prehistoric theme of the level design. World's largest hitbox. Shoutouts. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first gadget we get, which is a passive gadget. Bruh. Oh my god. How far is that range? <laughs> so it's telling us to press in the left stick. We are going to do that to dive downwards. Yeah, so this is a passive gadget. This isn't one that we can place on the face buttons. Obviously, it just automatically activates whenever we hit a bottom of water. If you press in the right stick, you get a net you can use. And the net is really nice. As opposed to the single target, I want to say hitbox of the monkey catching net, the time net if you will, the water net is an AOE or an area of effect. It hits a large area so that the monkeys, you don't have to be as precise when you catch the monkeys with this net. Oh, there are a loading screen waifu right off the bat as well. Alright, there we go. That monkey is probably the thinker. Contemplating life. I can have this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Well, let's hop right into it. Can we get him? There we go. Alright, perfect. So that's a really good example of abusing the hitbox mechanics for that net there. We missed him, but he, he legitimately dove right into the net. All right, come on now, come on, Natalia. So while we catch these monkeys, I guess it's a good 
time to kind of get my memory, jog my memory up a bit. So those monkeys right there. Oh, no? Okay, perfect. Alright, so those monkeys right there are the yellow shorted monkeys. And we're popping off with all these captures. Yeah, so the yellow shorted monkeys are the normal standard monkeys. There's a lot of deviations of those monkeys. There's a light blue monkey short color, which is meek monkeys. Dark blue, which are extremely fast monkeys. They normally like to run away from you. And they run, I want to say, two, three times faster than all the other monkeys. There's green monkeys that normally have 3D... Oh, 3D goggles. Uh, alongside being fitted out with rockets. And those monkeys are really difficult to catch. There's black short monkeys who tend to have machine guns, Uzis and whatnot, and then red shorted monkeys, who are the fighters. All right. Yes. Look at that guy in the back. He is so surprised that we caught all those monkeys. He's like, Nani? <laughs> yeah, tell me how great I did. Dude, Natalie's gonna make me so narcissistic by the end of this playthrough. <laughs> Alright, and I guess that's a pretty good area to stop this first episode here, so let's go ahead and save it up. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> let's go ahead and save on our, and I can't believe I'm saying this, our PlayStation 1 memory card. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. So hopefully I will see you all in the next one. How is up, everyone? Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And it mean a lot to me. I'm on the road to 100 subs so I can get that custom URL. Otherwise, though, I will see you all in the next one.